meta-analysis with a continuous outcome based on uh, estimation of the effect size which is a standardized mean difference that can be calculated based on Hedges G or Cohen's D or Glacius Delta in R statistics and generating a forest plot and a funnel plot. So what is meta-analysis? Meta-analysis is a statistical method that combines data extracted from multiple independent studies that addresses the same scientific research questions. The uh, studies are designed to have two groups, uh, intervention group or treatment group and a control or a reference group and uh, the outcome is measured in this case continuous and uh, the overall or the pooled uh, estimate of the effect size which is the SMD will be calculated the meta-analysis also will examine the heterogeneity between the results from these several independent studies by performing a heterogeneity test based on the chi-square and generating an i-squared value that is represented in percentage with a higher I squared value indicates higher heterogeneity and low value means lower heterogeneity. Meta-analysis also will generate a forest plot that displays the summary of the meta-analysis in which the pooled overall effect size, the SMD is calculated, the heterogeneity result will be also uh, produced and 95% um, confidence interval and um, a weighted percentage and a p-value. The plot consists of three sections, descriptive uh, analysis, diagrammatic representation and uh, overall statistical analysis. Meta-analysis also will produce a funnel plot which examines the uh, publication bias. To perform meta-analysis on a continuous variable or continuous outcome uh, based on an uh, estimate of the effect size which is the standardized uh, mean difference, launch the R studio and then um, load the file that contains the data by clicking on file then scroll down to import data set and then select from SPSS as the file is saved in SPSS format then click on browse locate the file and then select the file and click on open and then click on import and the data are imported into R studio uh, before performing the uh, meta-analysis, load the meta-packages. If the meta-packages is not installed, then install that package and then in the section here, type library to load the meta-package, library meta and hit enter and the package will be uh, loaded into R. From the table above, as shown, there are here a data extracted from 10 studies from study number 1 to study number 10. And in each study, the participants were segregated into two groups, a treatment group and a control group. And the uh, outcome was measured in a continuous scale by calculating the mean for each group, for the treatment group and for the control group. 
as shown here the variable here indicate nt which means uh, number for the treatment the mean for the treatment the standard deviation for the treatment the number for or the number or the size sample for control the mean for control and the standard deviation for the control so here two groups with the total number of participants the average for the group and the standard deviation for the group and to perform meta-analysis and to calculate the overall effect size which will be here the standardized mean difference will stick with the hedges uh, estimate of the effect size in the section here let's generate an object and call it x and then use the assignment operator and then type meta con for continuous and select the command or the function to perform meta analysis on a continuous uh, outcome and inside the bracket type data and then uh, insert the file or the data name which is uh, here is uh, the copy select copy and then insert by paste the file which is smd meta analysis then insert comma and insert the variable one by one for the treatment then for the control by typing nt which is capital letter case sensitive and as r is case sensitive then mean uh, t comma uh, sdt comma nc comma mean uh, capital c and then sdc then insert a comma space so here we had inserted the variables that are required nt uh, mean uh, t and sdt and c and mean for control and sd standard deviation for control uh, for uh, using a, a statistical analysis method we're going to type method and then uh, dot sm so smd standardized mean difference we could use the cohen's d or hedges g or glacius uh, delta but i will use the hedges uh, g and i'm going to type only h for hedges uh, a capital letter and then insert a comma then type s for the summary and we want the summary to be in the format of smd standardized mean difference then after that insert a comma then uh, also in the analysis or the output analysis insert the uh, study id by typing stud la lab lab for study label equal to the name of the variable here which is a study and for the effects model i'm going to uh, use the random effects model by typing random and then give it a t for true and the fixed will be uh, false for f and if i hit enter to view the output analysis just type x enter and as shown here in this section uh, the number of study is equal to 10 k is equal to 10 the number of observations 389 and the random effects model was selected and the standardized mean difference was calculated and found to be point seven two and the 95 percent confidence interval calculated and the p value which is less than 0.05 
and also a heterogeneity test was performed to quantify the variation with an I squared calculated equal to 13.1%, which is a low heterogeneity and a 95% confidence interval for that value. And a test of heterogeneity also produced a p-value that we needed to be greater than 0.05 with a degree of freedom 9 and a Q statistics based on chi-square, which is equal to 10.35. To draw a forest plot, let's clean this. In this section, type forest and then open a bracket and then insert the object which is X and hit enter. Uh, simultaneously, a forest plot is generated as shown here if we enlarge. As shown here in the forest plot, there are three sections, the descriptive, statistical descriptive, the diagrammatic representation, and the overall estimate of the effect size and the heterogeneity test. As shown from the forest plot, the studies are inserted, study number 1 to 10, with experimental group and the control group and the total and the mean and the standard deviation for each group is inserted and a diagrammatic representation or reflection of the descriptive statistics with the standardized mean difference is calculated for each individual study and a 95% confidence interval is calculated for each individual study with a weight percentage which is a reflection of the sample size higher weight percentage reflect higher sample size and in the middle section here the squares represent the effect size which is the smd and there is a variation in the size which reflects the sample size larger squares have larger sample size the horizontal uh, line here represent the limits upper and lower for the 95 percent confidence interval and the dashed line here is the line of uh, overall effect size and the uh, vertical line here is the line of no effect and here at the bottom is the scale and on the uh, this on this left hand side is the section for the overall um, statistical analysis calculation of the SMD based on the uh, hedges um, effect size with the uh, a value generated for the pooled or overall SMD which is 0 0.7 with 0.72 with a 95% confidence interval and a heterogeneity test with an I squared and a P value. To perform few edits here by reducing the decimal on the control and the experimental for standard deviation and the mean and also to change the color of the square and the color of the vertical line and the color of the diamond shaped here which represent the uh, overall um, SMD or overall effect size close the window for the plot and in the section here type forest again open a bracket and then insert the object comma to change the color of the squares type col and then square and then let's give it a color of red and then hit enter uh, spontaneously the color of the squared are changed into red as shown in the plot close the uh, window here and then to change the color of the diamond from gray into black select the previous command and then insert a comma and then type color 
D for diamond, select the diamond and let's give it a color of black and then hit enter. And if we click on zoom, the color of the diamond is changed into black. Close the window here and then on the command section, copy the command and then place it here and then let's change the uh, vertical dashed line into a blue color which is the overall uh, effect size by typing COO and then common hit enter and then let's give it a color of blue and then hit enter and if we click on zoom I can see the color of the dashed line is blue to reduce the decimal point for the standard deviation and the mean for both the control and the experiment close the window and copy the command and place it again here and then uh, insert comma and then type digits uh, equal to or digits dot uh, mean uh, equal to one and uh, digits um, dot standard uh, deviation uh, equal to one and then hit enter and back again to the zoom the decimal has been changed for the control and the experiment so this is the way to generate a forest plot that will summarize the outcome from the meta-analysis and will generate an overall um, effect size which is the smd which is the hedges here and uh, a test for also and the value for heterogeneity or variation among the results from several independent research studies. We could also generate a funnel plot by closing the window here and then in the section here type funnel, open a bracket and insert X and then hit enter, click on zoom. A funnel plot is generated which is a scattered plot on the x-axis is the uh, plotted the standardized mean difference for each individual uh, separate studies represented by gray circles and on the y-axis is the standard error and the scatter plot is in the shape of a funnel and the line in the middle represent the um, overall effect size which is standardized mean difference which is around 0.72 for lack of publication bias the distribution of the effect size which is the smd should be uh, equally uh, on both sides of the line here so there should be equal number of uh, uh, standardized mean difference here we have one two three four on the on this section and five on this section and one outside the funnel so from this funnel it is possible to determine whether there is a publication bias the finding can be uh, validated by performing another uh, statistical test which is the eagers regression test that will assess the publication bias so this is the way to perform meta-analysis with a continuous uh, variable or outcome and and uh, based on an estimate of the effect size which is the standardized mean difference in our statistics to generate a funnel plot and a forest plot